As I stated in my Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood anime review, which I will link somewhere on screen, Full Metal Alchemist is, in my opinion, a perfect series. I cannot think of anything that I personally have a problem with. But when did it go from just really, really good to something else? To something a lot better? When did I realize Full Metal Alchemist was nearly perfect. Well, there is one thing in this theory that I have wanted to make an entire video talking about that scene. And that is the scene where after Ed uses human transmutation on himself to escape Gluttony's stomach when he reunites with Al in the Portal of Truth. That scene is what I want to talk about. And I think that is without a doubt the best scene in all of Full Metal Alchemist. Now before I discuss the scene, I do want to say that this is just my opinion, and this is a new kind of series of videos I want to do every once in a while, where I talk about things, and how much I like them, and why they make me like a theory. So let's talk about the scene when Ed finds Al's body in the Portal of Truth, from episode 26 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I believe the first thing we need to do is set up some sort of context if we want to talk about this scene. And we really need to realize that it has been at least a year to two years or something since they attempted human transmutation. And we know one thing for sure, which is that it took Ed an entire year to go through the rehabilitation for his auto male arm. Now, what needs to be discussed here is that Ed is going to become a state alchemist and then they've been traveling for a while searching for the Philosopher's Stone. And they found that it was made of human souls. They're like, okay, we can't use the Philosopher's Stone. So they are in trouble. And what really needs to be discussed is how desperate they are. And then Ed uses human transmutation on himself to escape Gluttony's stomach, and he arrives at his portal of truth. However, the first thing he notices, the biggest part of the scene, is that then you see how confused he is. He's like, why are there two portals? And you just, the way it's directed is amazing. You would see him looking around, cluelessly, confused, and you would see him fought out. And you don't know who it is right off the bat. We don't really know because Alphonse's body has decayed and he's so old and he's so weak and frail and fragile and scrawny for not eating. His, like, his body has like deteriorated. His hair is so long and he has looked so weird and old and like his body hasn't been taken care of at all. And then you see this amazing shot and I just widening and Ed just staring. He's uh, in shock and he starts running. He, he forgets about everything else and he starts running. But the moment he realizes that the person in front of him is his brother, is Al's real body, the gate of truth opens and the same black hand that dragged him in the first time start dragging him through the portal. As Ed is being dragged into the portal of truth, he's screaming for his brother to come with him, begging his brother to follow him. But Al doesn't. Al replied with that he can only leave with his own soul. So in other words, unless if Al had come, he could leave. If, if that had been Al that had done that, he could have left. But he can't. He needs Al there. So they fail, and Al, has to, and Al has to remain there, and then Edward is pulled through the gate. And this is where we need to talk about the symbolism behind this, and with somewhat to do with my interpretation of what Ed and Al refer to as truth. Now, whether or not truth, as Ed and Al call him, is God, is less very ambiguous. He never openly says, I am God. But I like to believe he is God. I feel like that's the most logical conclusion, and that's the way I'm interpreting it. He's the one that has power over human transmutation, and he punishes humans, and he also interfered with Father. Like, he was the one to judge Father, and he was able to trap Father inside the gate. 
And I do believe that is what makes him a god. I believe he is the closest thing in this series to a god. And I feel like, considering he even said, if you wanted to, you could refer to me as god, he says he's also from the universe. He is all in truth. But if you look at it from a method that he is god, it makes what has happened next after the door is closed even more impressive. Because remember, the portal of truth she is something God, as I'm going to be calling him for this moment on, called the portal that allows an alchemist to perform alchemy and contains all al alchemic knowledge behind You see this shot of Al dying, and he just hangs his head and closes his eyes sadly, and you see this amazing shot of Ed just hunting open the gate of truth. And remember, the gate of truth is practically, in a way, a gate controlled by God. He, so in other words, Ed is overpowering God right now. I guess that's the way I interpret this thing. He pushes the gate open, and he starts struggling and telling Al that he'll come and get him, and to wait for him. And he struggles, and he just tells him to just wait for me. And then the way at Edward is fighting against the hands of the like I guess you could say the hand of God just to get that one message to his brother really emphasizing what makes Full Metal Alchemist such an amazing series which is the bond between Ed and Al. And I feel like this scene really cements how great their bond is and why it is probably one of the best things about the show. Edward wants to save his brother and make that and tell him those words so badly and promise him he'll be back so badly and he cares so much about Al that he's able to overcome the hands of God. And I feel like that is an amazing amazing moment and that is what I think is the best scene in Full Metal Alchemist. But tell me in the comments what you think is the best scene in Full Metal Alchemist. And I would also like to say that I will be doing more videos like this talking about the best scenes and theories and analyzing them. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you enjoy. I have a, a couple more Full Metal Alchemist videos coming. I'm going to be doing one ranking the opening and one explaining alchemy, and then I'm probably going to be done talking about Full Metal Alchemist for a while, unfortunately, because it's, it's, it's just a 53 episode anime, there's nothing left to talk about. I may watch the 2003 version and talk about that and conquer a Shambhala. I'm not sure, I may talk about a couple of other in series moments, but in general, I just want to do this video the opening and the video explaining alchemy. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'm trying to branch out and talk about a lot more anime. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And above all else, guys, have a great day. And the One Pink Nation, signing out.